Hi guys, welcome to another Beardy Butcher Air Review. Uh, tonight, just got in from a long day, fancied a nice bit of a nightcap, so I thought, right, what have I got hanging around? And I uh, stumbled upon my meantime chocolate porter. Perfect for this time of night. You want a nice ale to sit down and relax with and uh, sort of chill out, end the day, and you know, rewind. So, um, basically, yeah, like I say, meantime chocolate porter. There's the cap. A little bit about it, it says um, the natural mocha flavours of the four different roasted malts used to brew this rich dark beer are complemented by the addition of real chocolate during maturation. Warm, complex and smooth, it has a long clean finish, an ideal dessert or digestive beer. So good, it's a 6.5% ABV. Um, I've never actually had this before, I've had some other meantime before but never this one so excited to get it cracked open. So let's get it going guys, let's pop it. Not much action going on top. Oh, very, very, very chocolatey on that one. As expected, to be honest. There's the meantime cap. Put in the collection. Right, so, uh, yeah, what we got? Lots of chocolate. Very malty. A slight a slight hop aspect to it. But, um, yeah, it smells lovely. So, let's get it poured and we'll uh, give it a nose, shall we? So, here we go. Lots of carbonation going on. Wasn't expecting it to be that carbonated, but it is, so there we go. So sort of a quite a big head, very active, sort of a two finger head going there. Going quite quickly though. Very dark. Can't really see through it to be honest. Hold it to light. Sort of hold it to light. You can kind of see through it. Sort of real dark, dark brown. So uh anyway, with the nose. Oh yeah, let's get rid of some of that head. Yeah, very, very chocolatey. Got quite a lot of um, acidity on there as well, to be honest. It's sort of... It's, it's, it's almost... It's sort of a... There's a faint, faint lemon smell. Not not the zest, actual lemon, zu lemon juice, sorry, on this one. But yeah, quite a lot of... Um, a, there's like a roasted back note to it. You can tell it's been roasted. But to be honest, the big the big smell is the chocolate, and it's it's dark chocolate. You know, eight to five percent, ninety percent cocoa. No like milk chocolate here. You know, we're talking proper chocolate. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get into this, guys. So, cheers. Anyway, mm. oh, that is smooth. That is so smooth on the tongue. First hit is big sweetness, sort of with the chocolate. Bit of a sort of dark espresso at the back of the throat on that one as well. Big coffee flavour. Also, a lot there's quite a lot of hoppiness there as well, to be honest. Sort of the bitterness at the back coming from the hops. Got a very nice sort of grapefruit, quite intense uh, citric right at the back. But um, oh, it's lovely. It's a very strange mouthfeel because it, it's very, very. Um, bubbly in there, and that slight fizziness on the mouth kind of cuts. This could be a very, very heavy, dark beer, but because of the slight um, fizz on it, it's cutting it and it's sort of going down a lot easier. And so, you've got the richness and you've got the dark, intense flavours, but then it's sort of it's an easy guy. I mean, this is an easy drinker. I could easy drink a couple of these to be honest. It's not it's not heavy and it's not like a stout, you know, well, it's a porter, so you know, I didn't expect it, but just delicious, you know, so yeah, definitely it's so really you've got the the big chocolate, big roasted malt punch straight away. A lovely grapefruit sort of lime lemon twang at the back from the hops. And then the last sort of thing, we've got a nice, like I say, Real big espresso, fresh ground coffee, right at the back, and it sort of leaves a nice film of dark chocolate at the front, the backs, the hops, and then the coffee at the back. So, um, yeah, very impressed to be honest, guys. A very nice one to be honest. So, um, I think it's to be honest. I'm not. I don't drink that many porters. I'm just getting into them. So, um, really enjoyed it. I'm going to give it a seven. Um, 
the only reason it's a bit of a low mark because, like I say, I've, I'm not not quite into them that much. I don't know what's good and bad, but to me, this is very good. Um, so I'm going to give it a seven. Very, you know, nice, easy drinking, perfect for this time of night. We just want to sit and chill and relax. Um, and yeah, very nice. Sort of the night, the chocolate flavour is very nice. The sort of the coffee and then the nice hoppiness it, like expected is quite a nice you know addition in there so um you know very enjoyable guys so you know go out there get yourself a meantime chocolate porter and uh yeah you know have it at night time like i have or have it whenever you like you know um it go very well with some um roast meats as well like a nice sunday roast so uh you know that's a nice tip for you but um yeah get out there get one guys available in most um supermarkets this one was from waitrose but i'm sure everywhere else sells it as well so um yeah definitely worth getting it so um as always guys, cheers to the brewery and cheers to you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.